To receive OSC messages in VVVV, you first have to reference the OSC pack. This gives you access to all the OSC nodes. And for receiving, we first need an OSC server, which we configure to the port that we want to listen to. And then immediately the data preview output gives us a preview of all the messages received. So we're receiving a size message with one float, a polygon message with a bunch of floats, a particle message with mixed type tags, that is two floats, and R stands for color, and S stands for string, and then a bang message with no arguments. And the last column here shows you how long ago this message was last received. So apparently the last three messages here are sent all the time. And the bang message is only sent once a second. Now to receive the arguments of one of these messages, we are using OSC receiver node that connects to the OSC server. Uh, we have to specify the address. We can type it in here or we can simply copy it over from here. And then this uh, size message sends a single float, so we want to control the radius of the circle with it. The next message is the polygon message. Let's also receive it here. And the interesting thing here is that this is a, just a spread of floats, but we can immediately interpret that as a spread of vector two. So simply connect it here and then the OSC receiver adapts to that. Next, the particle message. This one is interesting because it has these mixed type tags. So the question is, how can we unpack those? And for that, we're using a tuple. Tuples are only available under the advanced section. We are using a tuple three here because we want to interpret the first two floats as a vector, then the color and the string. So three items that we want to split out here. First one, position. Second one, color. Third one, string. And you see the text particle is moving around here. And finally, the OSC receiver for the bang message, which does not have any arguments, is the one that's called OSC receiver empty. So we're taking that and then also specify the address here. And we are receiving a bang every time this message is sent. Now I want to talk about this learn option we have here. Now this only makes sense if you don't have continuous uh, messages that are coming in. So I'm turning these messages off for now. So you'll see they're not coming in anymore. Um, I can also reset this display. So currently nothing is coming in, but I'm sending a new message now. You see it's a message with two floats. And so I wanna control the position of the circle with that one. So I'm using an OSC receiver. And instead of typing the message, uh, the, the address here, I'm using the learn option. But first I will also connect it to the circle's position. Now I hit learn. Now the next message that the OSC receiver resends, uh, receives, it will listen to forever. So it has adapted to this address and now I can immediately control the position of the circle with this OSC message. And that's already everything you need to know about receiving OSC messages in VVVV.